good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE action figure surgery for you guys, and I honestly thought there was going to be more than this in this surgery video because you guys know we've gotten the Ultimate Editions. We got Elite 82. We got Elite 81. I think we already did surgery on Elite 81, but still, uh, we had the WrestleMania wave. We just had a lot of stuff hit and hit and hit and hit, and so I thought this episode would be bigger than it is, but it actually is not. I do have some other stuff waiting, and I actually have a really a kind of funny kind of kind of upsetting story about some figures and some fix-ups that I was gonna do but it ended up not working out which is absolutely absurd and I guess I can go ahead and get that out of the way before we get into it you guys know that ringside ended up sending me the chase variant version of Kyle O'Reilly right the the black version not the camo version it was this version in the box you guys see here they sent me this version in the black so I was like damn bro the one time I want the regular version not the chase variant they sent me the chase variant so I didn't have the camo Kyle O'Reilly well my boy John was at Target the other day and he said they had two Kyle O'Reilly. So I was like, oh, hell yeah, Brad, give me two of those. Thank you so much for finding those. I've been looking for two Kyle O'Reilly's. Can't believe they had it. Well, Brad, he drops them off, and what do they have? It's two Chase variant Kyle O'Reilly's. You can't even make this stuff up. Two mint on card Chase variant Kyle O'Reilly's. So now I have three Kyle O'Reilly's in the Chase variant and still no damn camo version. What are the odds of that? What are the odds of that? It wasn't his fault. It was completely my fault. I cannot believe that they did like how how's that even happen i get the one from ringside not camo so i'm like damn find two more not camo again is the camo secretly the chase variant christ anyways i wanted to apologize for the no upload yesterday guys i felt like absolute dog ass so i do apologize for that but we're back today with a great surgery video i'm feeling a little bit better still feeling kind of iffy it's like my stomach like i just woke up feeling extremely bloated and my stomach felt terrible and i felt terrible kind of had the willies you know what i'm talking about where your skin just feels kind of uh, and you kind of just feel clammy and ish that's kind of how i was feeling i didn't like it felt terrible wanted to do this surgery yesterday couldn't make it happen brad so here we are anyway just shut the hell up and dive into it guys you guys can see here we have two hall of fame ultimate warriors i got these at target the same target that the two chase variant kyle o'reilly's were from but what we're going to do with these guys actually you know what we don't start with those we start with the guy on the stretcher right all we're going to be doing guys is pretty much switching out these smaller arms for these jacked arms on the survivor series so the survivor series elite and the john morrison elite i am going to get more multiples of these because I want to mix and match these head sculpts. I want to put this head on this figure and vice versa, but we're going to put these arms over here simply because these jacked arms match this jacked ass torso and then vice versa. The smaller arms or the Seth Rollins arms fit this torso better. I think it'll be a really clean fix up. Nothing too immaculate, but I think it will tie in and make those look pretty good. Up next, guys, we do have the two Ultimate Warriors that we were talking about, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a Seth Rollins in ponytail in this suit. So we have this ponytail shield head sculpt from way back in the day. We really need an updated shield Seth Rollins man bun. I don't know why the hell it said shield, but we need an updated man bun Rollins. I did paint the hair a long time ago, and so today I'm going to take this extra head sculpt, put it on here, put some different skin colored hands in here, because this is back when Seth Rollins had the Daniel Bryan skin tone. I'm going to put those hands in there. This will be a really cool Seth Rollins in suit, and then we're also going to make a Finn Balor in suit. Now, I don't think that the Finn Balor is going to look that good in this suit, because I don't like this body mold for a guy in a suit. At least it just doesn't. Like, Finn Balor wears thin suits, you know, like slim fitted suits. So does Seth Rollins, so they may not look as good. I think Rollins will look a little bit better, but for Finn, they need some sort of like slim suit body. I feel like this jacket, the length is too far. Like it comes down too far below the belt, and it just doesn't look as good. The pants are too baggy for what Finn Balor would wear in a suit. So I really think we should get a slim fit suit body and not always like these jacked, you know, more broad guys, but that's what we're going to be doing with uh, this bag of Finn Balor heads. We're going to get out a Finn Balor head and some arms and make those two Seth Rollins and Finn Balor suited bodies just to see what they look like, see how that goes. And you can make other guys like AJ Styles, maybe a couple of other guys, but that's also what I want to do. Next up, guys, we do have Elite 82 Finn Balor. Now, if you guys didn't know, on this figure, the sleeve doesn't come up all the way, right? The sleeve doesn't go all the way up for some reason. I don't like that, so I'm going to switch out this left arm of this uh, Extreme Rules 2-pack Finn Balor with the black sleeve. I'm going to put this black sleeve over on this arm. That way, he will have the full sleeve there. There. Still waiting to get a few more of these Finn Balors. Maybe I can make that happen. I have a really sick video idea that I'm uh, planning on doing where maybe that could happen. I'll, I'll show you guys that. I can't wait for that video. The video is going to be epic. I'm still working out the little behind the scenes for that one. But black full sleeve here is going to go on this Finn Balor. And then last but not least, guys, we're going to switch out the not only the knee pads, but the boot. You guys can see it. Look at this loose boot. What in the hell is that? Way too loose. We're going to pop off these, these, put on this extra boot, and put on these shorter knee pads so that the long knee pads are gone and that, uh, you know, this guy will have 
better articulation for, you know, posing purposes. Could or could not be for the pick fed, which I'm also working on. So let's go ahead and get down to business. All right guys, so for this surgery, I don't think this, I mean, this, this surgery isn't too technical, you know? We don't have a ton of stuff going on. I really wanted to do some fix-ups on this god-awful edge over here, but uh, I don't feel like torso cracking. Like, look at this. I didn't even cover this in the review. What is this? What is this? Get out. That's what you get. All right, guys, so what we're going to start off with is the boots. So I should be able to heat up all three of these boots really easy for Keith Lee. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, another thing that we could probably... I honestly... Mm, I don't know about getting everything. I, I kind of want to go for the home run shot. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but you know what? We can try it. We can attempt it. We can go for it. We can go for gold here. We're going to go for the sleeve, the boots here for the Finn Balor. We also got to get the other Finn Balor in here. See if we can get that off as well. Um, let's just go ahead and test the waters here. Get his championship belt off over here. I also want to make the Navy attire for Finn Balor in this, so I need a cut. Dude, I need I need so many of this figure. Hopefully, it ends up being as easily accessible as his other figures, and hopefully that is the case. But there is the other arm right there that we got to do. Got a little Bobby Lashley entrance going on right there. We also have to heat up the heads of the Ultimate Warriors. So we are going to heat up, uh, uh, let's see, maybe this will work right here. Just kind of sliding that in right there. We got the other head sculpt, which is going to be uh, right here maybe should do the trick. Uh, I don't know, man. Trying to get all of this, trying to get all this heated up at once is going to be a bish. Completely. Completely a bish. Maybe if I put the Finn Balor over the Ultimate Warrior here. See, part of trying to get everything in one is trying to get everything lined up. You gotta get everything lined up nice where it's in the beam of the trusty white hair dryer. We also gotta heat up the Seth Rollins head sculpt. We don't need to heat up the Keith Lee knee pads, but then we also gotta heat up the arms of the Morrison. Now, this is where it's gonna be difficult to get every single thing heated up because we have so many arms and stuff, but but we're gonna go for it. You know, we may fail epically, but we're gonna go for it. Again, man, I just need, out of all these new figures, I need new ones. If I could get new ones, like repeats of these new figures, oh, dude, the fix-ups are gonna be freaking outrageous. Coming in here and putting, I can already see where the heat is not gonna get, and it's, one of them is gonna be this back Keith Lee boot, probably, and then this Finn Balor bicep back here, I guarantee doesn't get heated up. We're gonna attempt it anyway. Again, I wish I had some Ultimate Edition Fiend and Hollywood Hollywood Hulk Hogan in here, but since I didn't have any Hulk Hogan's to put the head sculpts on, I don't have any extra Hollywood Hulk Hogan's to do the white boot fix up and things. We're just gonna roll with this, and uh, maybe we can get to that later on, but let's go ahead and hit this and see if we can get this all in one take. That's gonna be the goal right here. All right, guys, so here we go. Here we go. I kind of effed up on the on the release there, but let's go ahead and pop these arms off. Let's see if we can get everything going again. If we get everything in one take, that would be absolutely crazy, but here we go. Got these arms right there. Let's go ahead and just pop these arms over here just because, you know, you, you got them off. You might as well go ahead and try to execute it to the best of your ability. Try to get all these things switched out there. There's the one arms right there. Again, I'm really not concerned about some of the things. I'm really concerned about the other, so such as the Finn Balor over there. Okay, Okay, we got John Morrison, uh, the Ultimate Warrior head sculpt. Got that off. I don't know how well the uh, god dang that head sculpt is on fire for Seth Rollins. I don't know how well. I don't know how well. What am I saying? I don't know how well nothing. I don't know how well nothing at all. Okay, so we actually did get the arm off pretty easily there. That is shocking to me. Got the other bicep in there. Popping that hand out. Popping the tattoo hand out. Putting this hand over here. Then taking this hand and popping it over here as well. Now it's going to look really odd on this figure, but we could switch this out. Or what I'll probably end up doing is probably painting this sleeve or something because look how stupid that looks now little unevenness garbage all right that goes over there um yeah over there now this head sculpt's got to come off of ultimate warrior finn balor over here done there got that over there got to switch up the hands still got we didn't heat up a finn balor head that was the problem there but getting this boot off and this boot off replacing that boot because this one's loosey-goosey now sliding oh my god in heaven sliding these off is going to be a hoe i can already tell you that ah 
Jesus Christ. I honestly have no good tips for this, um, especially on big calf guys like Keith Lee right here. Just kind of, I'm digging my nail into the, the rubber of the knee pad and then just kind of sliding it down to the best of my ability. And then once you get it down to a certain extent, it should be much easier to get off. I know in the past I've grabbed pliers and pulled it off, but you never really know there. Calf's a little bit loosey-goosey. I don't know if it's because of, the, of the, the peg or what, but geez. Woo! All right, got that one. Now I got to get the small knee pads. I don't even know how well the knee pads are going to go on right here. Got to find out which, if you guys are wondering, I don't know if I've ever said this in an ever video, but if you are wondering which one goes on the right, which one goes on the left, they're actually printed on the inside of the knee pads. So just look in there, turn it different ways and stuff. I've put on smaller knee pads like this onto guys like Bobby Lashley and Rusev before, so they should fit. It shouldn't be a huge deal, but you never truly know until you try it because these calves are, these are some of the thickest calves on any figure as far as ones that don't have pants or anything sculpted over the top of them. All right, I finally got the knee pads on. Now we gotta pop the boots in. And a lot of people don't even mind the big knee pads. I just feel like the smaller ones will give us a little bit better range when posing this guy around. And I don't think they'll look that bad. All right, so I think we've gotten everything except the Finn Balor head sculpt onto the Ultimate Warrior suit body. So now I just need to decide what... I gotta get the hands out here too. So the hands, these extra hands will go somewhere else. And then we also also got to put the skin tone hands into the Seth Rollins, but I think the smiling head sculpt would probably look best, right? The smiling Finn Balor head sculpt, even though I do dig the pissed off like first one. Kind of cartoony though. I don't know. You got that one and then you got this one. I think the smiling head sculpt would probably look better though. I'm gonna go smiling. So here's the Finn Balor smiley head sculpt, guys. Should just pop this straight on here. All right, don't snap the John Brown peg now, Brad. It's like going on, but not going on. And then we'll take the hand here and plop this in here. And I think I'm missing one more hand, wherever that is. Is. All right, I think I got it. Plopping this in here. And that is it for everything we did here today. Kind of feel like it flew by. But let's take a look at everything we've done here today. All right, guys, so here's everything we did today on surgery, excluding the demon that we took a look at with the sleeve difference. But here is Finn Balor. Really like that. The, this doesn't bother me anymore. Now the other one bothers me, but I really wanted my updated NXT Elite 82 Finn Balor with the pissed off head sculpt right here. I really wanted that full sleeve look, so this really takes care of the job. Who is messaging me? But I like the way this Finn Balor came out. It came out perfectly. That is what you like to see. Up next, we have Keith Lee, and I like the smaller knee pads, man. They really don't look that bad. Again, I think it, it fits in perfectly. The large knee pads work for me as well, but I really wanted that extra articulation. Like, yeah, it can definitely angle a little bit more, and it just looks better to me. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings on that. Some people like the big knee pads. I think the smaller ones look better, and I think they fit and conform to the calf better. Like, just look at it. It just looks better. Uh, you got a little bit more thigh exposure, a little bit more calf exposure, and the updated boot here is much better. It's not falling on its face. So the Keith Lee is fixed up nice. Really need to get the Chase variant version in the silver and pink. That is going to be badass. Maybe we can make really sick-ass customs with Keith Lee. Really excited to add him to the collection again. Next up, we have our two John Morrisons. Now, this is excellent. I like, uh, I don't know. I think both of them ended up doing exactly what they were meant to do. Smaller arms on the other, the younger John Morrison, and then the bigger arms on the older one. Really, actually, fits perfectly. These arms tie in perfectly to this torso. These arms fit perfectly with this torso. The wrist tape was exactly the same. A little bit thicker over here, but nonetheless, I think both of them turned out great. Again, I do want to get some more of this Elite 82, put them onto the Survivor Series, see what kind of different swippages and swappages we can get. Uh, I still want to make that white Texas A&M maroon and white attire for the Survivor Series Elite, so I think all of this is working out perfectly. Everything's going all good and grand. Here is Finn Balor and Seth Rollins in their suits, and you guys can just see what I'm talking about. Like, we need a slim fit suit for Finn Balor. Finn Balor doesn't look bad in this suit by any means, but I think that we need a different body. I just think that the these guys would look a lot better in different suits. Like, I just feel like this is more of a GM role or more of a, I don't know, I, I just don't like how loose and baggy the, the the suits and the jackets look and how they fit the people. I think they need a more conformed, fitted look. Same thing for the pants. We need some sort of, like, slim fit, you know, cuffed, you know, sort of slacks and not this, like, baggier look and, you know, wider pant leg look. We need a better looking thing, but I thought for sure that Seth would look better than Finn, but I must say, I think Finn looks better in his suit than Seth over here. You guys can let me know what you think about those, but I think that does it for everything we're going to do here on surgery. Not not a very long episode because we did everything really quick like and everything like that, but you guys can let me know what you think down below. I do got to get into my shout out for today, so let's go ahead and do so. So this shout out is going to go to Adam Hart. I thought this was hilarious. He says, MDT, I can't wait to get that figure. When it comes, I hate it. And I think that's hilarious. You know, sometimes figures look better in the render images than when we get them in production. So, you know, sometimes it be like that. 
that. And a lot of the times, you know, sometimes, I think somebody commented the other day, I forget exactly how the comment went, but it was something like, you know, I look for, or when I look forward to a pay-per-view, it ends up sucking. And then when I don't look forward to a pay-per-view, it ends up being really great. And that's how it is with figures sometimes, man. You know, you, sometimes, like I was really looking forward to the Elite 70 Finn Balor last year, and it, like, it was my most anticipated figure of the year. And then when it released, it ended up being the number 10 or 9 worst figure of the year of 2019 for me and my countdown, which we are going to do those countdowns again, guys. So let me know some end of the year videos you guys would like to see, because I'm going to be hitting best figures of the year, worst figures of the year, my top 10, my top 10 terrible ones. We're going to hit all of it, man. I love top 10s. I love countdowns, and I like to know what's best and ranking and stuff. I still plan on ranking the ringside exclusive figures, and we still have a lot more stuff there, but huge shout out to Adam Hart for that comment. I thought that was great, and yeah, I, I plan on doing a lot more stuff. We got some, we're going to rank fix ups of the year, customs of the year. I mean, we got a lot of stuff to rank and get out of here for the end of 2020. I think a lot of people are definitely looking forward to the end of 2020, but this video idea that I have is going to be something to do with 2K, and it's going to be, it'll probably be 2K19. It might be 2K20, but probably 2K19 since 2K20 is so damn crazy and, you know, wacky with, with freaking glitches and craziness going on, but it's really sick. I think you guys are going to get a lot of it. I think you guys are going to really enjoy the video that I have planned, but that is going to do it for surgery, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, My Damn Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. You crossed the line. I've been